Hi, good afternoon. I am Pierre Naum, Carlos Naum father. Today is 21st of uh, uh, September, Saturday. Actually, I following to my uh, yesterday video, which I mentioned briefly about uh, our appointment with the doctors from Chelsea. So uh, yesterday I gave you briefly and I promised that today I will say in details. Okay. This gentleman, as he's really gentleman, he's uh, honest, he's polite, but, un uh, but unfortunately is not what we have been promised about to meet. We being promised that independent medical team will come because that's what I requested since six months exact. And this is, is registered in email to the pals twice, to the emails to the doctors, personally to the consultant. And in the media, I requested several times, several times that we wanted uh, independent medical team to check on my daughters because I cannot trust this medical team all. When I say medical team, for all the specialists, okay? Because what I saw from them, it make us never, never trust them because each single person, each single consultant promise us something, the other come and say something else. And each one, they say this is very important, then they change their mind and they say no. For example, they promise us to make, and this is very important, very important, very important NJ. When my daughter, she was not well and due to a very, very hard reasons we have it and evidence, she couldn't tolerate it that day she didn't refuse it, she allowed them, but uh, unfortunately, because the wrong was from their side, she couldn't continue the procedure, she stopped it. Then suddenly they came, after that, with a while, they say, no, this is not good for her. Though so they change. The pick line, as well the same. The pick line, which it is, it go inside the vein, from the arm here, it go like this, and come over the heart instead every day to put canola inside her hand because there is no wine. That's the doctor specialist in that big line. He said to me and in our meeting 26 June of uh, this year 2024, we were meeting with all the professionals with Dr. William Weir and with Steve Topol, the advocate and from media as well and with the all. And they insisted, the doctor says, they offer it. West Mrs. Sex Hospital consultants, they offer it. And they say, this is very good and this is important for her. Okay, both of them, the NJ and the uh, pick line. And suddenly, both of them, they don't want to do it. It's not good for her, risky for her. I cannot understand when we wanted to do it, it's, it's good. When we ask you several times, it is, uh, it is, there is no any side effect, there is no negative on it, there is nothing for it at all. And when they don't want to do it, for a reason, which I will tell you about it, it is very clear, then it is negative, it's not good for her. Yesterday when we said, this doctor, he came only to manage the things, to put the things between us and, and the doctors, or to manage the things, how to get Carla clearly, briefly, briefly, in polite way, how to get Carla outside of the hospital. They are ready to do anything but just get it outside. They don't care if she is good or not, if she been treated or not, uh, for the repetition of the hospital or not, they don't care at all. Okay? Before you remember, several months we find it, and there was a fund, okay, and there was a people who funding 
and uh, we came and we asked them, uh, we request with Dr. William Weir and us to remove her to a private hospital to London and to another Wellington Beef Hospital, which they were ready to go there and Dr. William Weir take care of her directly, okay? But unfortunately, they, when we went and they accept the hospital and were waiting only for the ambulance to come to take her, but suddenly the hospitals, they call us, they say, we cannot uh, admit her. We say, why? Say, we received the papers uh, transfer her file from West Middlesex. They say she have a mental problem, which my daughter, you remember, I mentioned about this and I was very upset. We were very mad. Dr. William Weir, he write to them letter and he say, no, she don't have any mental problem. We are not bringing here for mental, just we have to make some procedures. And Dr. William Weir, he work with them and uh, Steve as well. Top all, he do all her best. But two, three hospitals, they refuse because it's written. So today, there is no fund. Uh, we brought it because it cost us a lot. Okay. What happened to the day yesterday? They say, if you have still someone, we can do, I will do all best to take her out. So they are ready to change what it's written. So when it is their benefit, they are ready to change. Why? Just they want to write off Carla. Secondly, when the last week as well, and when one of the consultants came and she say, your daughter will move her to a nursing, a nursing home. And uh, why? Because she say in the community, they don't take uh, feeding, they don't take NG, they don't get, take NG, I say, how come? Yes, we contacted them and they insist and there is no nursing home take in uh, NG, therefore we have to make for her peg and take her there. We refused the peg and we said, if you take her to nursing home or you make peg until today, I am insisting, if they take my daughter to nursing home, it will be a big problem and it will be over than what they expect. Until now, I didn't go further. I will go further and, okay, and it will be a very serious problem, which it will be entrapped with it. All the official sites in the country, all the official organization, it will be involved because this is, uh, they crossed the red levels, okay? Uh, as there is no nursing home, especially with CFS, shows she will be dying. Secondly, they want just to take her there because uh, they want to write her off of the hospital. Yesterday we say, no, no, don't worry. We spoke with the, with the community and they are happy and they will come and they will do everything. So I cannot understand how once they say no and now they are happy. Okay. Okay. But how they say that she go to home. Okay, with NG tube and everything. I told them how we can take her with NG or NJ. Well, until now she's suffering from her tummy pain. Her tummy pain until this moment is not solved. I brought her to this hospital, okay, because she had, she couldn't tolerate the feed and reduce and she had little pain. But today, after six months, the hospital, West Middle Hospital, destroy her uh, health situation. Health situation became worse 1,000 times since the day number one she came to the hospital. She is not anymore like before. Today, in her tummy, not only she cannot tolerate, not only small pain, a pain from different kind, a pain which no human can, can tolerate it. Because of the pain, whenever they give her by syringe, they give her by syringe the feed because she cannot tolerate it. So five times a day, every time about 450 milligram they give her, five times a day, every time they make her, give her, she scream and they scream, everyone hear it. And she suffered from seizures in several times and she fainted because of the pain. Okay, so now today she became worse. Her pain now today is she feel twisted 
in, in the tummy and everything inside. She feel cramps inside and the pain, she say, no one can imagine it. And she say, I am, I feel one day I, I finished, you, I will die because the feet is coming to here. So they are not treating what's her problem. You say, yes, um, she have sensitivity and, and the nerve. Okay, that sensitivity, you destroy her, you make her, the hospital make her worse because Dr. William Weir, he say what things to avoid it, to not do it, exact. We have evidence in our hand. What I am saying, everything I have evidence. We have uh, emails to the hospital. Dr. William Weir, he is warning them from doing one, two, three, four, five, several points, okay? that this, if you do it, it will hurt her, it will make her worse. And they didn't care and they keep doing what it is, which make my daughter now more worse, okay? And guess what? The gentleman yesterday, he say, we don't have until she go home. I told her we cannot, I told him I cannot uh, force her at home. Here you are forcing her at home. Uh, the carer cannot home, cannot force her. They can give her. They say, don't worry. The care will not force her and you. There is a community nurses, they will go to there, to them how they will come five times a day? Because six o'clock in the morning they start, sometimes they stay to 12 or to one o'clock, say five times. So my, my, my house will become hospital. That means we will not stay coming, going, except them from the carer. Moreover, that means my daughter, she will stay every day giving this and screaming? No, sorry, it will not work like this at all. No human can accept it, okay? No logic person in the universe will accept it. The neighbor, they will, every day, five times, she will, they will hear her scream, and we will hear her scream every day, front of us, for how long? Say, until she became good. At, then keep her here because every time she is fainted, she is have anything. Until now, we don't know she should be under your care, not under our care. Okay, so until now, no one came uh, as a second opinion to give us because I don't trust them. They don't have the honesty in the treatment at all. That's what they show us. And I have evidence about it because everyone he promised us was something, we have to do this. Then after that, they change. No, this is not good. Then the other, he say, no, I will do different from the other. So every two weeks, the, the world uh, become under control, different uh, consultant. And everyone say to us something. So tell me how you want me to trust them. What about then the uh, seizures and faint? because you brought independent uh, consultant and the, they say different from you. They say to me, no, it is, this is uh, the consultant, those two independent, they said that she is, this is from emotional, something related because she's stressed. When she's stressed, she do like this. This is emotional things, mentally. I saw the doctors and they confirmed to me, no, it's physically at all due to what they did with her in the hospital, the stress she faced, she started to be fainted, she started to be seizures. So they are the reason behind all this. And they have the hope for, uh, to hold the responsibility. Okay, uh, Doctor, the gentleman yesterday, he said, I will try to ask one of them to check with, uh, with Carla and will contact with uh, Dr. William Weir to see why the PET, because we ask him about PET to be done and the special, uh, uh, MRI scope, something like this called. It should be done as well. So he said, okay, this is, we will follow it with him and we will see how to, we will do it with him. Okay, uh, why it is important. And I will ask him, tell them what about the independent gastro? I will check if we can. Then what's the, then I am six months waiting for independent independent medical team, independent uh, doctors, independent specialists to tell us what the reality behind her. And they promise me and they say, let us to see the second opinion. And this, there is no second opinion until now. They were cheating us. They give us 
fake promises, all the consultant. This is the reality of West Middlesex Hospital. Gynecology. My daughter, she's suffering from a lot of pain. Six months just before three days they refer her. Is that fair? Now her problem became more worse. And what? They want just to ride her for out, outside of the hospital and you solve it. No, dear. It will not work like this. I will not take her. I cannot take her to home in this situation. And I will not allow you to take her to nursing home. And believe me, when I said I will do it, and they will not expect to which level it will reach. All the world. Now, I will tell you now what's going on. A media outside of UK, they are working to have an uh, interview with me as well. Okay, after they saw Channel 5 and after they saw BBC, now outside. They are in contact and today they contact me as well. They will make interview to show them what kind of hospital I am living here, what they are doing to my daughter. The reputation of West Middlesex Hospital will be worse than ever been in any hospital in the world. And I will not leave you West Middlesex Hospital as long as you are hurting my daughter because you hurted her, you destroy her life, you destroy her, uh, her health situation. And I told this gentleman doctor, told him, I wish you came from the beginning because you are the only except one to say, I will contact Dr. William Weir and I will try. But he, he say, I cannot treat her and uh, I will see if I can bring another uh, second opinion for gastro. Well, I don't know what's go going on, really. If, uh, if six months and they cannot, why they can bring second opinion for uh, the neurologist, neurologist, why they cannot bring for gastro. <sighs> the, my daughter health situation is not in their hand, in God's hand, and in, in all of you public. We have to stand one hand to show all the words how West Middlesex is doing until they change and they respect the MECFS patients. Please, please do not leave us. One more thing just to, to let you know about the peak line. My daughter now, they don't find at all, at all, any vein, uh, vein in, in her uh, hands. And yesterday they find one here and that was very harmful. And she have two uh, medication, paracetamol and aldosterone to, to be taken from there, except the IC line, which is very important, and Dr. William Weir, he requested, and yesterday I said, no, it's not important. While Dr. William Weir, he know, because she is MECFS patient, maybe for normal person, she, they don't need, but for her, yes, she need, because she is bedbound for a long time, okay? And this is very important point, which it was from their point of view, it's not important point, okay? So if now she need any drip, if she need glucose, she need anything, uh, it's hard. So therefore, the pick line, we are insisting to have it. Okay. But you know why they don't want to do it? Because they want her without anything and aim to leave to home, to take her outside as at home or nursing outside. It's not allowed to put pick line. You see why they or anything in the vein and the pick line, it's a big procedure, it costs them a lot of money. And to, to put it only for a few days, it will not work. That's in their mind. But no, dear. Listen, West Middlesex Hospital. My daughter, she will not go outside from there until you treated her. Not by your doctors, by independent doctors. By doctors who respect their carriers, who respect the patient, who respect God, and they have the fear of God, and they have a conscience to work with it not to work to their benefit, but to the benefit for the patients, especially who is an MECFS high severe level.